When it comes to the best Mario Kart title, fans of the series are divided. Some say it's Mario Kart 64 with its solid racing gameplay, while others say it's Mario Kart 8 with its vast amount of content, and still others claim that they're personal. They did listen to fans for Paper Mario. That's exactly why Sticker Star came to be. Nobody could handle a standard platformer for a Paper Mario game. You played yourselves! Who asked for an action-adventure Paper Mario game? Who asked for the majority of characters to be Toads? Who asked for a terrible battle system that's fundamentally bad? The Thousand Year Door fans. Funny. I'm being dead serious right now. You ignoram- You ignoramus. You ever heard of, be careful for what you wish for? You absolute nobodies wish for a Paper Mario game that wasn't like the best in the series. Ever heard of the monkey's paw? Well, it requires wishes to be very specific, otherwise terrible things happen. All you idiots did was ask for a Paper Mario game that was closer to the second best game in the series, The Thousand Year Door, than the best game in the series, Super. You morons got what you wanted. Utter garbage. I can't take you more seriously specific. with those insults. So star Ooh, would have never happened. So stop pretending that you use that as any idea of what you're talking about. If you actually it's look obvious, into the development of Sticker Star, the blame only it on Miyamoto. Why they idiot. stopped was coming because from Miyamoto, idiot you didn't over know there. If you didn't we stop them, it would have gotten gimmicks. better. It's clear that this isn't a point of discussion. It's just fact. Not Paper Mario, but Waluigi Playable in Smash.